Hmm. Yeah, this is better, isn't it? Oh, I understand. Oh, it's so good. Yo, the hover bike is all it's cracked up to be. Oh my god. Now I get it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Tears of the Kingdom. If you guys just last episode, I made this thing, and then I saved it. Uh, it turns out this is actually the better option. I mean, it's it's less materials. It apparently flies really well, and I totally looked up a video on how to make it because I tried to follow instructions via a comment that I got last episode, and while the comment was as concise as it possibly could have been, my peanut brain could not comprehend it in the end. So I had to look up a video, and I did it. And <laughs> it's actually pretty sick, not gonna lie. So uh, that's the ticket, I guess. That's the one that we're gonna use. So uh, I should probably put that one in the auto build, huh? I had to use a stake to make this fucker? Yo, it's crazy. Wait, what? I Do I? How can I? Huh? How can I save this in my history without the stake, though? Because technically, it doesn't think that this is the creation. Oh, no. Okay, after unattaching and reattaching the wheel just without the stake like a billion times, I think I got it straight enough where it's good enough. And it flies fine. <laughs> Oh my god. So out of curiosity, uh, how much does this fucker cost to make? Nine! And that beats 12, so that's the ticket, baby! Uh, yeah, at the end of the last episode- Oh. Oh, you're just gonna give me something raw, Ru. <laughs> I love you! I always have and always will. <laughs> Thank you, Raru. I mean, it kind of was a whole ordeal to get this. That's a- are you proposing to me, Raru? Brother, I'm sorry. I already have a husband in Sidon who follows me around like a ghost man everywhere. And we have a child. His name is Tulin. Is that... Is that not what happened in this game? Dude, I don't know. I've just been... I've been pretending to pay attention. I've not really been paying attention to the story uh, at all. Uh, but that's kind of what I extrapolated. Anyways, if you guys have missed the last few episodes of Tears of the Kingdom, we've, uh, come to Terrytown, and dude, Terrytown is sick in this game! I just really like the, the whole expansion thing going on. Down here? Hell yes, dude. It's so pretty, it's so serene, and I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna be able to build a house right frickin' Hazel. And that sounds super exciting to me. Um, in order to do that, though, we probably first have to take care of... Uh, this. This. Hudson and Ronson's daughter, Madison, is studying the Gerudo language in preparation for her move. She's going to find Granny Minari and said something about giving her a quiz. She did say this like three days ago in game, but hopefully she lost her way to her own grandma and is a big dumbass. That being said, honestly, we should probably just finish this, huh? Considering this is literally the reason we came to a call in the first place was to do this, and I'm pretty sure all we have to do is go back to Robbie, and the, the boy will be like, oh shit, you fucking did it. Robbie! I got your thing, brother. Also, it's raining outside, and I'm, I'm not sweating, I swear to God. Hey, you! You have more work to do. Your pura pad is nowhere near its full capability yet. <laughs> so much feature do you want to add? You say nowhere near, brother, but it's actually quite near, and it's about to be done. Of course, you want the travel medallion feature? Who wouldn't want to travel instantly to wherever you want? I will need my travel medallion prototype, which is at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Sorry, but... Hmm? Huh? Wait, do I detect the unmistakable odor of my old home on you? Oh. What? Then you already have it? <laughs> yes, that's Old Spice Pier Sport to be sure. The odor of my home. Good job, that will do the trick. Come on, hurry up, let me see your burra pad. There you go, sir. I honestly don't know how often I'm gonna use this. Now give me just a moment. Yay! I mean, there have been a few times where, like, I go to somewhere in the map that I have no fast travel area by. And then I'm like, I really need to go do something else, so I guess in that circumstance, whatever. ta da 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 I added that to your key item so you'll never lose the ability to use it. If you want to be able to travel instantly to your favorite spot, just stand there and set up a travel gate by using that. <sighs> then at any time, you can just zip right there by selecting that very spot on your map. <laughs> Easy, right? I wonder what I could do if I had even more data, however. 
I suspect I could add two more gates. Yes, then it'd hit a maximum capacity. So I could create a link between the pad and this little second location, but for that I'd need about 10 map data locations. Ah. Oh no, dude, I better go get some, which should be a walk in the park for someone like you. Oh yes, I should prepare uh, operation instructions for this feature too. Hang on a minute. Oh. Okay, the details look correct, and I'll post it right there! Yes! Very good! Ah. There you go, the operation instructions for the travel medallion feature. Now you can review the travel medallion feature anytime you want. Just read that poster there. Ah, uh, buddy, I did the thing, though. Like, I got him. This feature, do you want to... Yeah, this. Ah. What? You've got the data? Hurry up and let me see that pad. There you go, buddy. Please oh. calm down. Give me a moment. Oh shit, now you can go multiple places. Fuck my ass. Ta da 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 da, or whatever. I added that extra one to your key items. Given the maximum capacity, I could add the ability to create one more. I could create a link between that if you only add 15 map data locations. Oh god, I hope you have 15 map data. Oh, what the fuck? You got 15? Jesus Christ. What? You could get map data registered on the Pyropad at Sky- Oh, that's what you meant! There's 15 regions? Uh, dude, I literally thought he wanted me to mark 15 things on my map. Okay. There's actually at least 15 parts of the map? How many actual regions are there in this game? Oh, it's gonna be incredibly hard to see now that I've actually filled them in, huh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm only counting 10, <laughs> but I'm definitely counting them wrong. <laughs> oh, anyway, yeah, oh, good weather, yes, lovely. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to wrap that up before we continue our stuff in a call but to be honest, there is actually one last thing I want to do real quick before we continue our adventures in the Akala region. GET PRODUCING! To produce one energy well, I require 100 crystallized charges. That's what- GET PRODUCING AGAIN! PLEASE! Yeah, now that we have the hover bike, it would be nice to actually have a bigger battery, huh? I'm gonna be honest, I've been neglecting to actually do battery upgrades this entire Let's Play because there's just nothing I use the batteries for. I mean, whenever I actually needed to use the batteries, the the small amount of energy that I had was enough. Honestly, I think we have more than this. Like we could do we could do more than this. I just need to go like to the thing like beneath me, I wanna say. I would enjoy further visits from you. Uh would you I literally have your kind's head on a fucking stake and I'm flippy flopping it around on my back. I feel like literally the most disrespectful little shit that I could possibly be right now. Um I think we just gotta go like down oh, this way. Yes. Yeah, yeah! You just gotta thread the needle all the yucking way down here. Oh, dude, this brings back memories, this place, man. I feel like there's probably. Shit! I'm fine, I was never worried. I feel like there's probably still a lot more that we could actually discover here. Uh, but we'll do that, you know, eventually. Hello, it's really fucking dark in here. I swear to god, I plant shit every time I come down here, but you guys just keep yucking it up, but it really upsets me thoroughly. Hello? I am processing zonite into other forms. I am willing to accept raw zonite in exchange for pre Yeah, what's the exchange rate on this? I always forget. Is it one to one? I understand that, sir. Is it one to one? Zonite charges? Wait, what? Oh, do I have to buy them? Oh, I do. And no, it is not one to one. It is three to one. Holy shit, my ass. Okay, uh, I'll take them all. Yes. Damn it. Yeah, that's a deal. Yes. Wait, how many do I? Do I only have 10? Oh, shit. I only get 10 every time. When do you restock? Do you. Do you happen to restock like. Oh. <laughs> Dude, Shimmy, I'm so sorry, brother. Is there a better hammer? Yeah, this will probably be better. Uh, do you restock, like, literally every time I... I just, like, spawn back in the sky and jump down here? Because I am willing to test that out. But I have a feeling you might only restock every fucking blood moon. Which is kind of a problem, considering I'm so goddamn close to being able to just get another energy well, like, right now. 
But uh, it's worth a shot, I guess. No. Okay, I'm seeing now why it's important to go to all of the little construct shops in the depths when I stumble upon them and just buy out their stock in this. Like, I've just not been playing the battery game the entire time, you know? Oh, I'm actually gonna fucking burn. <laughs> I wanna fuck! Anyway, I actually don't... Do I know where one is just by going down like this? I would think that this is definitely one of the shops, yeah? I'll just go buy out the stock from this, I suppose. Hello? Oh my god, dude! Is that a lot? Or am I just... Or am I just happy to see me? Is that the saying? Dude, what the... What are these? Oh! Equal to 20? Uh, I'll take them all. All of them. My, I want all of them. <laughs> so, dude, that's insane. And then I'm gonna just take all, all of these. Just all of them. Fuck me up. I'm good with the, yep. Dude, these boys be trading rocks for shit. Oh, this is actually super, wait. How often does this actually restock? Cause like, I should be coming here every fucking time it restocks just to, until my batteries are all the way up. I'm li it's literally like fucking episode 70 something and I'm only now just realizing the value of of going to these merchants like every fucking possibility that I can. I just don't know how often they restock. Hey brother, can I get like two more of them shits? Just uh, two more. Get producing, please! Yes! Dude! <laughs> I uh, I got a whole fucking battery today basically. Yes, dude, yes! Now I'm fucking understanding! It might actually be even harder than I'm expecting for these shops to restock. Like, at this point, I'm like, maybe once every blood moon? It might be even easier than that? I don't fucking know, but dude, I'm gonna be motoring around on my little upper bike now. Look at me go! Yeah! Oh, fuck. Okay, shut up. I really don't want to talk to you anymore. And with all that out of the way, we can finally go back to Akala and go see Madison, dude. Are they even gonna allow me to... Like, I assume this plot right there is going to eventually be a place to build a house, because if it's not, like, what the fuck, that's the biggest cock block I've ever seen in any video game. Like, it's literally a plot and some guy's, like, selling the property. If I can't buy that shit eventually, I'm gonna be really upset. Um, but, like, is that why they don't, like, allow me to actually build a house inside Terrytown? Is because my, my name is not S-O-N ending? Oh, dude, what? Hey! How you doing? Yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why, hello there, you! It's an honor to see your face with my eyeballs once again and on such a pretty, pretty day, no less! <laughs> you met it again with my younger brother, Colton, didn't you? I can smell it! He is a bit eccentric. I know, I know. But I hope you'll find it inside your heart to treat him with kindness. Ah, where are my manners? I have yet to greet you properly. Gilton at your service. Once upon a time, I made goods from monster parts, you see, and traveled about selling them from my shop. <laughs> but once I had saved up a tiny little nest omelet, I gave that stall to my younger brother. Now I've purchased this plot of dirt land so that I can at last make a real dream. I've dreamed since I was a wee Kilton. Sadly, it seems the president of Hudson Construction is very busy and I can't take my next step forward without him. Still, it's only a matter of time before my dream is not a thing stuck inside my skull, but a thing here in the world instead. <laughs> I am a quiver with excitement at the thought of it. Um, uh, dare I ask what your dream is? The truth is, and this is just between you and me, I have adored monsters ever since I was a wee killed the- Oh, the- That was strange. This is usually the part where you say, What? Monsters? Disgusting! But here you are, so sensitive to my sensitivities. I know, I know. Monsters are violent creatures that despise the world over because of it. That I can't deny. But they're also misunderstood! The way everyone hates them without even trying to understand them. Pitiful! Tragic! And so I will educate the world about monsters. And once the world understands monsters, they will love monsters. That is my dream. But for my plan to succeed, I require the assistance of the finest carpenter in the land. Hudson! Hee <laughs> hee! 
<laughs> as soon as Hudson is done with his other business, you must come back. I promise you a monstrous spectacle the likes of which no one has ever seen before. <laughs> okay, what the hell is this? Dude, if you're gonna make a petting zoo, I think you should tell us now so we can all veto that decision. I'm just gonna be honest, I don't know that that would actually fly that well inside of a fucking town. Hey, what up? Hi! Granny Minari, Savak! Oh my, you're on a good mood today, Madison. Is it time for another lesson? <laughs> of course! And it's a special occasion, too, because a new student is joining the class! Oh. Okay, now pay attention, Granny Minari. It's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz! What is the Gerudo word for Granny? Mm. Granny and Gerudo is... Um... What was it? Uh, Vada... Va... 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 Vada... <laughs> nope! You suck! And Granny Minari is out of time, too! Do you two want to give it another try? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, let's see how you do this time. What is the Gerudo word for Granny? Oh. Granny is a vava. <laughs> oh, is that the same fucking one you picked oh. last time, you fucking idiot? Uh, I guess this. Yeah, yeah you got it right! <laughs> Ah, yes, Faba. It was on the tip of my tongue. Well, now there's one more Gerudo speaker around here. Thanks to Madison, I've grown rather knowledgeable about the language myself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's how they talk at Mama's hometown, so if every son can talk like that here, well, then Mama won't be so lonesome, right? Mm. I feel better knowing Mama will be okay, but now I need to think of a way to help Papa. Hmm. <gasps> I've got it! Papa's always so busy, so I'll just make it my mission to help him with his work. Okay, I'm gonna go ride the rail car to the job site where he does all his work. Are you sure that's okay for a little child to do? Oh, oh my god, she does have his dickhead! Hair, hair. <laughs> oh, Madison, she's sad up to grow up so quickly. At her age, she should be clinging to her mama and papa's legs, not working up a sweat trying to make sure they're happy. Then again, maybe she won't have to do to do 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 all. Ever since Haggy was put in charge of the rail car, it's become a whole lot harder to get a ride. Uh, I well, actually, I broke it the other day, and then like some dude like fixed it real quick. I don't. Are you okay? What happened? I wanna ride the rail car so I can get to Papa's construction site and help him with his, get his work done. But I forgot that guy won't give me permission to ride unless I pay him. Hey, it's kind of a piece of shit for you to deny the fucking daughter of the whole company that built this place, isn't it, sir? I never had to pay until he took over. I guess I'm gonna have to hop aboard the rail car without him noticing. But how am I going to do that all by myself? What I need is for someone to maybe cover his eyes or something? Uh, 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 no. Okay. All right. Hello. All's well, he says. <laughs> is this not what you wanted? There it is. Okay, uh, what the fuck? Get, there we go. There it is. Wait, is it stuck? It's stuck. Oh, dude, it's stuck on that lantern. Um. Hello. You're you're good to go. You're, dude, it's it's done. Yes, I know. You can go now. Huh, Mister? Did you do whatever the fuck that is? Yes. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous about it, but. I trust you. I'll run straight there. Oh, you might want to hurry up. I have actually have no idea how stable that fucking thing is. I'm going to guess probably not that stable. <laughs> yeah, don't make those sounds as you run past. You're kind of going to blow your whole fucking cover. Also, it seems like it would be easier for me to just give her 20 rupees. I did it. My mission was a success. Hey, I can finally get to Papa! Okay, I'm off! He's gonna be so happy to see me! Thanks for helping with my mission! Yeah, you're- but I'm actually pretty sure your Papa's probably gonna be a little pissed off with me. It seems like a problem that I allowed this to happen. Huh? How inconvenient that that... 
just so happened to fall at that point in time. Okay, we. <laughs> I'm off. <laughs> we. <Wee>! Yes. <laughs> Hello. Where'd she go? Oh. Uh, has he not seen her yet? Yo, what up? Ah. Oh. Hey, you didn't mention you were coming here too, Mister. It's strange. Papa keeps mumbling to himself. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's you. So, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Trying to figure out what I could possibly do for Madison who's standing right the fuck there. Ooh. And, well, what I came up with is this. Gerudo Town is pretty far from here. And there are plenty of monsters along the way. So I thought I'd make Madison her own special air balloon. Mm. But I want to make it really special. Something just for her. I'm just not sure how to do that. Special or not, I love the balloon you made, Papa! It looks like the sun! The sun. Ooh. That's it! Let's color it yellow like the sun! I've seen sundelines around here. I could use them to make a dye, but I'd get a beautiful shade of yellow from them. But for me to dye something this size, I need about ten of them. Huh? You need sundelines, Papa? Those are the bright yellow flowers, right? I'll make fighting them my new mission! Mm -hmm. I appreciate the thought, but it's much too difficult. Sundelines are quite rare. I'm not even sure where you'd find them. <gasps> Don't worry, I've seen a Sundelion before! It was attached to the ruins that fell from the sky! The sky, huh? I uh, probably have enough. If only I had ten of those Sundelions that are probably in your pocket right now, then I'd be able to dye the balloon a bright yellow. But I don't know where I'm going to get them. Ah, uh, here's ten. They were in my pocket. They were pr yeah. probably a little crunched. Huh? That's awesome! You did it! You really and truly collected ten of them! Ugh. What's this? You found them all for us? Looks like I'll have no problem dyeing the balloon the color of the sun. <sighs> oh, I wasn't any help at all. I failed my mission. Should I have given them to her? <laughs> That's not true, Madison. Your papa is about to turn this balloon into the sun, isn't he? I know. Why don't you help me with that? I will! I will, Papa! I'll help you make the sun! Uh, yeah, you guys have fun with that. I actually have a motorbike that I'm actually gonna get on and just kinda ride the mm -hmm. fuck around. Quick and quality blink and we're done! <laughs> That's why every sun chooses Hudson Construction! I hate that. <laughs> I mean, oh, what a bonding experience! <laughs> Lovely! Ooh. At last, it's done! And morning is already here. I'm just happy I get to watch my little one sleep a bit longer. Oh. Hudson! Mm. Oh, Ronson, what's wrong? No, don't tell me. <sighs> yes, her escort has arrived and is waiting at the village entrance. Oh. I see. All right. Ooh. Let's all go together then, in Madison's special sun balloon. Would you join us as well, Wh whoever you are? I feel like I've turned into a bird! <laughs> oh, Madison, don't make such a ruckus. You do not want to fall from this height. Ooh. Hey, everyone, take a look at that. Oh, my eyes! Why am I staring directly into it? The sun is waking up! Oh. It's blessing the start of your journey, Madison. Whether you're in Gerudo Town or Terrytown, Never forget that we are all standing beneath the very same sun and never to look into it like that dumbass just did. The only distance that matters is the distance between our hearts. So you see, your mama will always be beside you. Ooh. We'll be touching down soon. Hold on tight. I'm gonna fucking cry. I don't want medicine to leave! Madison, you know, if you get lonely, you could come back any- No, you can't come back! You're banned for life! Sorry, never mind. Papa needs to be strong just like you. My little Madison, it's time for you to go on your big adventure. Oh. Yes, 
It's time. Oh. You can trust me. I'll take care of your papa and mama. Don't worry. You can go. Oh. Go become a wonderful Vi and come back with lots of stories to tell. I can't wait to hear about your adventures. Oh. I'll come visit you in Gerudo Town sometime. When I do, let's play again. <laughs> Thank you, every son. I mean, suck so, I guess. Oh. I'm going to become a great Vi like Mama. And I'll meet a wonderful foe like Papa. Hi. Savork chops every son. Oh. Hansen, did I manage to keep a smile on my face? Oh. Yes, you did great. She didn't cry. So it's good we didn't cry either. Now, this is the start of a new life for us too. Mm -hmm. Let's pull ourselves together. If you're ready. Mm. Yes, you're right, of course. <clears throat> okay, I am ready. Oh. Ah, sorry about that. You know, you really were a big help to me. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Those Sunday lines were pretty valuable, weren't they? Well, as a way of saying thank you, please, take this. Yeah, sir, they were pretty valuable. Like, they were prob- they're probably not worth ten apiece. Okay. Oh. Jen, this is from me. Uh, twenty apiece- we're starting to go in the right direction, but to be completely honest, they're probably worth a little bit more than twenty apiece as Ooh. well. You've already helped me so much. But if you ever visit Gerudo Town, please check in on our Madison. Mm? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that Vo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town? Mm? Oh, right. I guess it slipped my mind. <laughs> now, I've got to get back to work. Don't you have a customer waiting for you, dear? Uh oh, yeah, that little gremlin guy, huh? Fuck that guy. Yay! She flew the nest! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking cry! Uh, oh, God, you really did beeline it for this guy, huh? Hmm. What I'm trying to say is, a Bokoblin's most distinguishing feature is its nose, which you'll find squished upon its face like... Oof! Its ears, on the other hand, are quite floopy, and its horn goes whiff! Hmm, a description of yours. Can't say I get the picture. Fuck's going on? Oh. Oh, hello. I appreciate you helping with Madison. That was a rough patch there, but I feel a lot better about things thanks to you. I admit, hearing about the sand shroud that Gerudo Town was dealing with, well, it's had me pretty worried. But she's safe with her Gerudo escort. I'm sure they'll take good care oh. of her. Bronson is back to working on those dream homes, so I better get back to work too. Ah, sorry. If you don't watch out, I'll start talking your ear off again. You've been a good listener. Thanks for that. This is Kilton. He moved into Terrytown the other day. He asked me to make a sculpture of a monster for him. Uh, sorry, sorry. I am an awful describer of things. I would try you a detailed picture of a bokoblin if I could, but there is no art to be found in the bones of my body. But fret not, I, Kilton, will describe the monster to you with more enthusiasm and much zest. Surely that will help. Mm. Uh, well, it would be better if I had a detailed picture to refer to. Uh, like this. <laughs> Don't wait, that's my penis! Um, do I have a better picture than that? Like this? <sighs> Wonderful picture, wonderful, but... It isn't suited for making a monster sculpture. <laughs> uh, fine. <laughs> it's it exactly. That's the bokoblin I'm looking for. Ah, now this is a good picture. Let me use it for reference, and I can make the sculpture no problem. <laughs> Here we borrow it. No. Oh no! If I had that picture, the sculpture would be sun and done, but. I can't force you. <laughs> Why can you say yes? <laughs> just to be a piece of fucking shit? Great, just leave it to me. I'll get it made. Son and done! Mm-hmm. 
Frickin' quality blink and we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. Oh, please, God! Where did you even come from? Fuck! Did you just shit on me? I don't know that I like that here. <laughs> Son and done, as promised. <laughs> Look at this! It is the very monster sculpture I've been longing for! It was easy. That's not the very specific pose the picture had it in, is it? Now, prettiest please, would you pick the perfect spot to display this sculpture on the stage over yonder? Ooh. I'm afraid I can't do that. Ooh. I've got a rule against making that kind of decision. Too much responsibility. Not my thing. Ah, uh, oh, but... But... Who will arrange it on the stage for me? I will... <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, you want... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is fucking mine now, sucker! <laughs> ah, you shouldn't have moved my sculpture there! Quickly, please, put it back! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Uh, the monster sculpture is precious to me. It belongs here. Please don't take it away. Uh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> you shouldn't have moved my sculpture there! Quickly, please, put it back! I don't know that I can! Uh... <laughs> um, how did we retrieve that from the sky? Alright, well, I think he should probably just put it frickin' over here. Uh, kind of like this, uh, but cling them to the ceiling. Because I'm going to be honest, I have actually probably had more experience than anybody with Bokoblins. And just, uh, they are the Spider-Men of the, of the game. Let me tell you. Should kind of go like that. That, oh no. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Actually, let me confirm something. This is not the exact fucking picture that I got, is it? Uh, it's pretty close, but not exactly. I mean, he's holding a completely different sword, but he's kind of doing the same pose, which is a little uncanny. All right, it's on there. Yeah, it's done. Ah, it's not- Ah, oh, it's not nice enough! Yeah, I got a much better spot. There it is. Ah, what did you just say?! Whoa! Such artistry! It's everything I ever hoped it would be! It's so realistic, too! It's as if I know souls might catch a whiff of monsters set at any moment! Ooh. It's true! Even I can mistake that sculpture for a living, breathing, falling over drunk after having too many Shirley Temples at Applebee's on a fucking Sunday night. Yes! Now we must show it to every eyeball in the village! Brother, I don't know that anybody's gonna buy that. That looks incredibly fake. I... <laughs> can I reposition it after this? Uh, like, I can see that this is probably gonna turn into a whole thing. Hear ye, hear ye, come look, see. I present to you the famed Bogoblin. Do not fear, draw near. This is the only place you can safely admire such a creature up close. The only place! Ma. Duh, when you look at it like this, is that a penis? I'm dumb, this sight has stolen your eyes. Now give me your ears, all of them. All of them! Without further ado, this adorable, cuddleable monster is called the Pope Goblin. They make house at home throughout Hyrule and are perhaps the monster you've rubbed shoulder bones with most. <laughs> with their v large foop ears and cute, gloofy snouties, so one can't help but want to give them a tight squeeze. Sadly, their social skills are quite stunted and. It's best to look elsewhere for a friendly embrace. <laughs> Goodness, yes. I do feel like giving it a hug all of a sudden. It's probably that dick that I can only see from this angle. <laughs> Please stop looking at his genitals! Thank you! And thank you once more! 
You've not only helped my younger brother, but me too. Please take this as a token of my thankfulness. It's a concoction of my own making, you might say. It's piss! I pissed in that! You are a great artist worthy of renown, and because of you, I've taken the first step toward making my dream come true. I have long desired to collect sculptures of monsters from around the world and display them for all the eyeballs to see. I hope this will help shine a light on these magnificent creatures and the many wonderful ways about them. Everyone in the village seemed to like it, so I could probably make more. <laughs> oh, really? In that case, I implore you to make a horrible next horribleans of big ants like whoosh and a coke that's quite wow. They also enjoy swinging from the ceiling. Hmm, your description? No. Uh, I still don't know what it looks like. Hey. Sorry. So sorry. I am an awful describer of things. I would draw you a detailed picture of a horribleans if I could, but I don't have a fucking boner pen. But fret not, I killed him to describe the monster. In a way you'll understand, I fucking guess. Uh, do I even have a horror? I don't even know if I do. But I'm going to test that out at the top of next episode, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this episode, please give it a like. If you want to subscribe for the remainder of the way, please do so. Also, consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for everything I just mentioned in the description down below. As always, thanks again for watching. Come back next time for another episode of Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Where, uh, I guess I'm going to see if, um... I have a horrible in picture? I guess. Oh, dude, this thing has so many fucking arrows and one less fucking blue Enox hammer, I guess, son of a bitch.